Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you didn't subscribe to our channel, then do it right now to learn and crack daily challenge every day and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept an integer n from the user and we have the program should get the factors of n the factors of n and sort these factors based on the factor count of these factor in descending order The question seems to be tricky, but it can be easily solved in Python and in Java too. We have also given a note that note if factor count of factors are same means we have to sort to those factors in descending order here we have used the normal approach to print the finding factors and getting the factors count it is better to use the square root optimization the video link is given in description do watch and learn so let us consider an example where the integer n is equal to 50 and the factors of 50 are 1 2 5 10 25 and the factors count for the first number yeah, 1 is the number itself so factor count would be 1 and for 2 the factors are 1 and 2 so the factor count would be 2 and for 5 the factor counts are is 2 and for 10 the factor count is 4 that is 1 2 5 10 and for 25 the factor count is 3 as the factors are 1, 5 and 25. Now 50 is also a factor. So the factor count of 50 is 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, 50. It seems to be it has the highest factor count that is 6. Now we'll make it clear factor factors and this is factors count now we have to print the factor with highest factor count that is 6 so we will print 50 and the next factor with highest factor count is 10 that is 4 so the next one is 25 and here we have the same same factor count so we will consider the factors and print them in descending order that is 5 and 2 and at last we will print 1 let us implement our program we have to accept an integer n and the factors of n
let it be empty we'll use a for loop to get the factors of n for value in range n first we use n because we are starting from the n okay so n comma 0 0 is exclusive so we will get from n to 1 and in order to prevent in sorry in order to print in reverse order use minus 1 and now we will check the divisibility conditions using if loop if n modulo val equal to equal to 0 then append the factors of n factors of n dot append of value now you can ask a question why we are using this n0 minus 1 the answer is simple in order to prevent the manipulation for our condition that is when two factors having same factor count should be printed in descending order can be easily solved by using this n0 minus 1 so we will satisfy our condition right here then we are going to sort sorted of argument 1 comma argument 2 comma argument 3 so what are these arguments argument 1 is iterable object that is list tuple then argument 2 is our key function through which we are going to get the factors count of factors that is based on which we are going to sort the object argument 3 is to represent our reverse order if it is true we are going to print in reverse order or descending order if it is false reverse equal to false then we are going to print in ascending order so we will use these logics print sorted of factors of n which is our starting index and your key function key equal to using this key function to get our factors count and reverse equal to true representing the descending order now in order to get our factors count of our factor we have to define it right so the factors count of factors num count equal to 0 for value in range 1 comma n num plus 1 where num plus 1 is exclusive and if num modulo value equal to equal to 0 then we have to increment count and we have to return count now our output will be like as list 50 comma 20 comma 10 comma 2 in order to unpack these elements and print as 50 comma 20 comma 10 comma 2 
we are going to use asterisk so that's all guys we are done hope you understand thanks for watching see you next video